Welcome back to another self-help video. Well, I'm showing my age, folks. That takes you back probably to the 70s and 80s there. Uh, popular uh, show. So what we have here is an i5 5C. We're going to replace the LCD screen. And the only tool you really need, well, um, I don't have one of those fancy suction cup things like you see in most videos. You're going to need a very fine uh, number. Well, I don't know what number bit it is actually, if it's a zero or less, but um, a Phillips screwdriver, the smallest one you can find, probably from a jeweler's kit would, would, would help. And a, um, you could use a, a guitar pick would be perfect. Because once we get this apart, you got to pl uh, pry the screen up uh, right here. So you could, a guitar pick or, or a nice thin firm piece of pl plastic to get in between the uh, frame and the uh, screen here would be perfect. So let's start. Um, what we're going to do is obviously the screen is cracked. We're going to remove it. And to, to start, there's two screws here. As you can see, we're going to remove those two screws first. And this is, I'm using the Phillips screwdriver. Very, very fine tip here. Pull those out, put those aside. Put that one aside. Now comes the fun part. If you had a guitar pick, you could probably use that also, but um, you just want to pop the glass up. And it did come up pretty easy, as you can see there from the uh, case. Uh, and what you want to do is go around it. And actually, it's like I said, it popped up pretty easily. I don't know if it's because it's already broken or or what, but you might want to go around and just pry it up like as so. The thing here is you can't turn the uh, LCD off. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the battery on this one, um, and to do so, we have to pop up these. Uh, two clips right here um, just so I can disconnect the battery so there's a metal frame right here we have to get to so there's one screw there here's the second one and I'm just taking precautionary steps um, if you could turn yours off that would be the best thing to do but I still recommend just disconnecting this uh, battery piece just take that bar off once you have that little bar off put that aside and then this is the little connector right here see if I can pop it up there we go that's it that disconnects your battery now there's four screws here one two three four we're gonna remove those now Put them aside in the way they came out, if you can, so that you know to put them back the same way. There's one. Here's the second one. That won't come out. Here's, I'm gonna try this one here. There we go, I'm gonna put that one aside. Third, number three. Put that one aside. Oh, there we go. Put that aside and I can't get number four, but the whole plate is coming off. So we're gonna put this whole uh, plate aside. And just to let you know, this corner right here, if you get the screws mixed up, has the longer screw. Out of those four screws, this one is the longest. So there's uh, two connectors. One of them is here. Rib these are ribbon connect connectors one there and one right here and all you gotta do is pry it up pop it up and that's it's oh, just another one here or is it this guy there we go so one two as you can see there's one here see this is one this is two, this is three. Uh, that three ribbon cables, one, two, three, and just reverse the process with your uh, new screen. So here's a new screen. Let's put this one in. Mm -mm. 
There's one. You can see, you can definitely, I don't know if you heard that, but you can definitely feel them click in. They're so fine. These ribbon cables are not like the ones you find in the computers where you know they see. Yeah, okay, there's three. One, two, three, in. Now, like I said, let's reverse everything. Put our cover back on. Like I said, the our larger screw here goes in the back. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. Here it is. That's the larger screw and it goes in this spot right here. The other three are the same size. I'm gonna try to grab, grab these. Well, it might be better if I just put the screen down. Try to grab the screw. This, this screwdriver is a little magnetized, which is nice. So there's another one. I'm sure you can go online, you can order a, a kit specifically for replacing screens. Um, unfor unfortunately, I don't have that kit, so you ha I have to once again make do with the tools that I have. This is for my daughter. So I'm trying to, we had another phone hanging around, so I figured I'd uh, replace the screen for her, which has a, the processor, I guess, on the other one is bad from what Apple say is saying. So the screen is fine. They wanted to charge a hundred something dollars to replace it. I can do it for nothing. So that's what I'm doing. And the last one goes up in the corner up here. So there's one, two, three, four screws. Connect our battery here. Now I just wanna, before I put, put our battery connector back on, I'm sure you could do that, it's only two screws. I'm just gonna put the screen like that. I'm gonna plug this in and just make sure it charges. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And as you can see, there's the Apple logo. So perfect, the thing is working as expected. And that's really it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it charge. Like and once it's fully charged, then I'll go ahead and I'll put the uh, battery connecting, the cable uh, metal plate back on and I'll put the two screws that go on the bottom of it back together. and. Uh, we should be good to go. So I hope you, uh, I, I want to thank you for watching another uh, self-help video and I hope you've uh, learned something from it. Take care.